Hi folks and welcome back. I've been asked a few times recently about water filters and how to purify drinking water. So I thought while I'm out here by the river filming another video, I'd take a few minutes out and uh, just put together a little video on the water filters that I use and other ways that I make water safe for drinking. So there are three methods that I use depending on where I am and what I'm doing. Boiling, use of chemicals to purify water and use of water filters. I'm gonna start with boiling. Boiling water is a very effective way of making water safe to drink. It kills off bacteria and protozoa and makes your water safe to drink. And you don't need a lot of expensive gear. You don't need expensive filters and chemicals. You just need a few basic bits of kit. I use a primary filtration bag like this one here. And what that does is it removes any sediment in the water. So you're not drinking that. So literally you just fill this bag up with water out of the river, out of the lake, wherever it is you're collecting your drinking water from and then you collect the water that drips off the bottom and any sediment is left behind in that bag. So that's the water collected out of the Millbank bag. It's clear, but there's a slight greenish tinge to it. That's due to the algae that's in this river where I am, but it has taken out all of the, all of the chunks, <laughs> all of the sediment. So that is now ready for boiling. It doesn't get rid of uh, chemicals and heavy metals and things like that out of the water so if you're really suspect it might be worth combining this with another method or just using a high quality filter that will remove those things out of the water. Right that water's heating up and I just need to get up to a good rolling boil. There are different schools of thought as to how long you should let the water boil for to make it safe to drink and it does depend on altitude so the higher you are the longer it needs to boil for. Um, but I just tend to bring it up to a, a good vigorous boil. So check on it when those bubbles are really, really going for it, <laughs> then it's done, it's done its job and it will be safe to drink. The only disadvantage of this method is that you end up with hot water. I'm just fine if you're only gonna make tea or coffee or something like that, that's fine. But if you're after cold water, you obviously then have to wait for that water to cool down again. So you're gonna have a delay. Uh, that is the only kind of downside really to, to boiling. Yeah, it's a good method and it's a method I use if I'm out and I'm only using minimal gear and I don't want to be taking a filter with me. Next up is chemical water purification, often found in the form of chlorine tablets. And there are loads of brands about. These ones here are by Life Systems. Uh, the British Army 24-hour ration packs or operational ration packs always have a pack of six in there um, and they are effective against bacteria and cysts, protozoa in the water. Um, yeah, you know, they do the job. They're a very lightweight option, you know, it's just a thin paper packet there with, with six tablets in. One tablet treats a litre of water um, and you just pop it in there, dissolve it in the water, leave it for half an hour and it's done its job. Uh, the downside is they taste disgusting. <laughs> it's a little bit like uh, drinking swimming pool water. Well, not quite as bad, but definitely leaves a taste that I can taste. Some people say they can't taste it, but I can. And I think that's the reason that the MOD always put an abundance of uh, sweet fruit flavored uh, sachets in their 24 hour ration packs to mask the flavor of these. <laughs> They're also not recommended to be consumed long term. So if you're out, um, you know, on an extended backcountry trip, um, you know, it might be worth considering something else. Right, filters. Filtration is my number one go-to method for making water safe to drink. Whether I'm out camping, wild camping, uh, backpacking, canoeing, whatever, I'll usually have a filter with me. And I've got four here that I'm gonna show you today. This one is the Sawyer Squeeze. I think it's the mini version. Um, and I've only ever used this once. It's all right. Um, it filters down to 0.1 micron, which is good for bacteria and waterborne protozoa cysts, things like that, but not for viruses, not for um, pesticides or chemicals or anything like that. Um, where I live in the UK, it's a heavily densely populated island um, and most of our rivers flow through towns and villages, through farmland, and I have to be a little bit more cautious than I would if I was out in the, out in the wilderness somewhere. It's got a decent flow rate, it's compact, you know, it rolls up really small and it has its own bag. So you can fill that up with water and you can keep it in there and just drink from it when you need, which is good. It's kind of like a water bottle as well as a filter. And the filter's actually really small. They're also very inexpensive. So if you're looking for a cheap filter just to get you started and you're gonna be where, um, you know, perhaps polluted water isn't such an issue, then um, this might be a really good option for you. Um, but my advice is if you live in a, 
in a heavily populated area or there's a lot of farmland where you're going to get run off into the rivers from you know pesticides and and chemicals and nasties then um, it might be worth considering a different filter Sawyer actually do another filter I can't remember what it's called it's got like a, a silicon water bottle attached to it and that has a much better filter in it that will remove a lot more than this one will I can't remember what it's called but I'll put the name of it up here somewhere or there wherever I can fit it <laughs> but yeah so that one is the Sawyer Mini, I think it was called. Next up, I have the Catadyne B3 water filter bag. It's similar in many ways to the Sawyer in that it has a filter at the drinking end, but the filter is inside the bag on this one, not outside like it is on the Sawyer, and you get a silicon type um, water bag with it. I've got the big one, this is three litres. They do a one litre version of this as well, which is obviously a, a lot more compact. I used this on my recent trip to, to Norway and Sweden. Um, and Andy and I both use this to filter all of our drinking water and it worked really well. It's got a decent flow rate, um, although when I was really thirsty I was struggling to get enough out, but that's just filters for you. Um, you know, if it's coming out really quick I'd be a little bit concerned. <laughs> Bearing in mind it's supposed to be removing all of those impurities. You can use it as a gravity filter just by, by hanging it up and letting it drip, although it's going to be a much slower rate. You know, if you're actually sucking on that mouthpiece um, you're going to get you're going to get much more out of it because you're actively pulling the water through. My only criticism of this filter is the cap. It has like a really cheap um, sports drinks bottle type cap, like the type you get on a disposable water bottle that you buy from the supermarket. And it had a little cover which came over it and that snapped off like on day two on the trip. It was just made of cheese. It was, it was, it was yeah, not really fit for purpose. Um, I guess I could probably just replace that with a cap off a disposable water bottle from the supermarket and that's probably what I'll do but I just think that it's a shame you know you pay a lot of money for these things I think that could have been better designed especially as that's kind of the clean end you know that's the bit that's meant to be safe to drink from and if that's getting contaminated with um, dirty water then I don't think that's such a great thing really but yeah it's a good it's a good filter I'm really happy with it um, like like with the uh, Sawyer I probably wouldn't use this on these local rivers around here where I live just because there's um, farmland around. Next up is my Liberty bottle from Lifesaver. I've got a full review of this filter. Uh, if you scroll right the way down through my videos, you'll find it down there somewhere where I go into all the full kind of specs of this, but it's a really good filter. This filters down to 0.015 micron versus the 0.1 of the um, Sawyer. So that just gives you an idea. This removes bacteria, um, and protozoa like the other two do, but it also removes viruses. It's designed to be used as a filter and water bottle. If you unscrew the top there, there's a little drinking spigoty thing on the top there, um, but you can also screw on um, a water bottle and just filter straight into the water bottle, and that's what I tend to do. So I've got a full litre coming off it, and you literally just undo the end, and that's a pump, you just pump. There's a little uh, input nozzle on here and it comes with a scavenger hose so you can just put that scavenger hose into the water and just pump it straight into your bottle that's that's how i tend to use it if you're out for a day walk or something and you don't want to take another water bottle with you you can just unscrew the end and just scoop dirty water into that end screw that back on prime it and then you can just drink straight from it so the water is stored in there i really like this filter i use it a lot on trips like this camps like this um, because i don't trust the water in this river um, it has a very bad track record one of the worst in the uk believe it or not and um, every time they do tests on it it's it's really bad <laughs> so i tend to use this one or the next one which i'm going to show you which is my first need xl it's a big clunky filter it's great for for group use or if there are two of you out on a trip um, it will uh, deliver water quickly. It's got a very fast flow rate and it will remove viruses as well as your um, bacteria and cysts and all the rest of it out of water. It'll remove uh, pesticides and herbicides, a lot of chemicals, very, very effective filter. Um, it'll only uh, filter six to eight hundred liters though on a on a cartridge that is the downside you know which makes it expensive the, the unit itself is expensive and then the cartridges are expensive um, but you know I, I bought this <laughs> a long time ago before I had my Liberty bottle because I was always I've always been suspect of the water around here and I wanted something that, something that I could trust um, and this this 
this does it you know i have no qualms about filtering just about any any kind of water through this i know it's going to be safe to drink it is a good bit of kit as a scavenger hose which you drop into the water and then you just pump and the uh, output there has um has two different thread sizes so you can thread on most sort of common water bottle sizes if you've got a wide necked Nalgene that'll screw on there, as will a lot of the dromedary bags about on the market. Narrow, narrow uh, neck Nalgene's will screw onto the middle there, and you can just pump pump your water straight in. If you've got a clear Nalgene bottle, then you can obviously you can see when it's getting to getting to the full point. Replacement cartridges for these are now the XLE cartridge, which have a port on the side so that you can um, back flush them and clean the the filter much more easily rather than having to take it apart which is what you have to do with the one that's in here at the moment but i have an xle cartridge at home ready for when this one is um is done so those are the filters that i use when i'm not using a filter i'm boiling my water to make it safe it's just not worth risking drinking water out of rivers and and lakes and ponds um, without purifying it unless you're absolutely certain you know there are parts of the world um, there are lakes in Scandinavia that you can drink straight out of um, because they're massive lakes they're deep there's a huge volume of water in them and there are so few people around to pollute it <laughs> there's an old saying the solution to pollution is dilution well that's very much the case in those big lakes that's for sure and if you're really unsure about the quality of water you could always double up you could boil your water and then use a Puritab, or you could filter it and then boil, and then you're doubly sure that you're going to be safe because it's no fun getting ill from drinking bad water. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.